my research about online taste communities, um, again, is, is, interest, is influenced by Borgesian theories, but I also want to kind of develop those as well. Um, Borgia largely did research, you know, he died in 2002, you know, it's mostly you know, before things like Facebook and even really the internet were so prominent. Um, but his concepts are still really useful for thinking about what happens online, and particularly in terms of his notion of distinction. So distinction, you know, like I was talking about with hipsters and bogans, is a way that people kind of relate to each other, um, have a sense of their own status and try and kind of, you know, maintain that often in ways of denigrating others and often around forms of taste, you know, with brands and, you know, liking the right music and, and that kind of thing. So my, my um, research about online taste communities is about how that plays out online. Um, and it also relates to how capitalism has fundamentally changed to kind of where the huge multinational um, corporations now are, are on what we call platform capitalism. They're not really making things. Um, they're about kind of hoarding information and data, creating information and data and doing all kinds of things with that. So within this kind of new realm, um, people's tastes, what they think about things, and don't ma doesn't matter how small, can be like all kinds of niche little Facebook groups and stuff like that, is really important for how profit is made and how value is created. So I'm interested in how, um, how that works online and how, the, how and why people are attracted to talk about particular things online and again particularly around class. So I've been looking at um, sites particularly that talk about um, food and, and like satirise other people's eating habits, often you know in all kinds of really ugly ways but also very funny ways. And people laugh at this stuff sometimes even though they know they shouldn't. So there's a kind of interesting thing going on there that People's minute tastes, no matter what they're like, anything you can think of, there's like some kind of Facebook group out there, whether it's you know, a fan of a person's shoes in a particular show, there'll be people talking about this stuff. Um, I'm, I'm interested in kind of thinking about how that works in terms of how that's a profitable exercise today, but more importantly about why people are, why do that, what they get out of it, um, and how they use those things to think about themselves and how they then create categories for others. So the, the research methods I'm using for the online course are both what we would call a digital ethnography, but also I'm doing face-to-face -face interviews as well. So I'm, I'm observing in, I'm, I'm not participating, I'm just observing a bunch of these groups. Um, so I'm, I'm doing three case studies. I'm doing a, a taste around um, food and consumption and, um, and just about kind of class-based taste communities. There's another suite of research that I haven't begun yet, which is around online sharing of memes about things like sociology and capitalism. And there's another thing that I'm going to do, which is a bit more personal, which is going to be a bit more autoethnography, which is about online groups that talk about cricket. Um, so the methods I'm using there is observation, and I'm gathering you know, a whole bunch of data and you know, screenshots, and in a way, um, you know, saving up a, a, re a reservoir of that stuff to kind of do the analysis of later. Uh, but I'm also um, interviewing people. So I'm interviewing the people that run the groups, um, the, the administrators of them, or the, you know, the owners of the Instagram account, or the, you know, the, whoever the administrator is of the Facebook group, or, or the writer of the blog, or whatever. Um, and I'm also then seeking out the people that participate in it as commenters or sharers and stuff like that, which is going to be a little bit tricky in terms of recruitment, I think. Um, but it's also going to be really interesting in the sense that they're the ones that I'm more interested in. The creativity side of it's really important and interesting, but I'm interested in why people consume that, what, and again, what they get out of it. Um, is it just about laughing at others and getting some form of entertainment, or is there kind of more deeper um, things that people are doing with it?